Last month, we told you that Montana leaders have decided not to continue in a pandemic-era program that would have brought in federal money to provide food assistance for kids this summer. Today, advocates at the state capitol urge them to reconsider. MTN senior political reporter Jonathan Ambarian has the latest on the issue. Speakers at a rally at the Montana State Capitol said they didn't want to see administrative challenges stop Montana from participating in a program that could provide food assistance for families in need. We can do better. The pandemic EBT program launched in 2020. Similar to existing SNAP benefits, eligible kids receive benefits loaded onto a card that can be used to buy food. If a state applies for the benefits during the summer, they're available to any child eligible for free or reduced price school lunches. Montana DPHHS told MTN last month that they weren't planning to participate this summer, saying it would require significant work and cost for department staff to identify and issue benefits to all eligible families, even if they're not all already receiving SNAP. They said the program was always intended to be temporary. Their Advocates expressed together. disappointment, saying the program had been an effective and efficient way to deliver help to children in need. Democratic State Representative Laura Smith was a deputy director with DPHHS under the previous administration when the PEBT program began. We actually had discussions with USDA. We knew it was difficult going into it because of the data, and we, f we figured it out. We worked with USDA, we went up the chain, we figured out a creative way to meet their data requirements, and the USDA was flexible the same way that they are indicating they're flexible on these funds. Smith was one of several speakers at Monday's event who urged the state to work with the U.S. Department of Agriculture to see if there are ways to find more flexibility and make the program work. This $10 million could feed 73,000 children this summer in Montana. And I just find it unforgivable that we're not finding a path forward, particularly when the USDA is saying we're flexible and we're going to work with the state. 44 states and territories have signed up for PEBT for this summer. A USDA spokesperson said they, quote, stand ready to work with the few remaining states that have not yet taken these steps, and that this nutrition assistance is essential to help these children thrive. DPHHS said in June that about $13 million in PEBT benefits remained unspent. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.